My sub gifted me a new camera, which means that I'm going to produce even more videos. Yeah, I know, very annoying. By the name of this video, you already guessed that I'm going to speak about racial play. And let's just cut the BS, okay? If you engage in race play, you are racist. And if you engage in sacrification, you are a misogynist and you support slavery. And if you engage in nut cracking, you are a psychopath. If you engage in pet play, you are an animal abuser. If you engage in spanking, you are just an abuser. If you engage in femdom in general, you are a misandrist. If you engage in thindom, you are a leech. If you engage in age play, well, I guess I'm not going to speak about it. Okay, let me try again. Let me try again. If you engage in race play, you are a racist. <laughs> and I think that whoever said that first, we have to thank them. Because they finally found the secret. They found the origin of kink. Because we can use this information for any kink, for any kind of research about psychosexuality and kink. Great minds of this planet couldn't solve this puzzle. But now, thanks to you, noble crowd, now we know that if you are into race play, you are a racist. Thank you. Thank you so much. Carl Jung would drop a tear of joy and Sigmund Freud would shake your hand. We are grateful. Everyone is great. Okay, on a serious note, let's talk about it. If you see who mostly advertises this type of play, this would be, well, doms. And I just want to say that this would be actually doms of color who promote race play because they do race play with white men. And all of a sudden, that's normal, right? Because women, or maybe men, yeah, I actually didn't check this sphere of kink sin. I'm talking about online, obviously, and things, well, that are shown online, yeah, not necessarily done online, maybe uh, these are also sessions in person, yeah, but how it's advertised online, yeah, how people treat this topic, and mostly I'm speaking about paid kink, yeah, about fetish providers. Why do they advertise? Okay, if we look at doms of color, Obviously, because these are men who are into that. But I don't think that that's the only reason, because, uh, well, these people are mostly driven by the idea. Yeah, we take advantage. We actually here for revenge. Yeah, you owe us. Okay. If you look at the other side, the one that gets bashed, yeah, let, let's imagine that it's a white dom who advertises race play. I don't know how she survived, but let's imagine that she survived. Yeah, she's there online and her account exists and she's not canceled and she has clients. Yeah, and obviously she would receive hate and she would be called a racist because uh, you can't do that. Why does she advertise it? Because she's a white supremacist or is it because there are men who are into that? Is she also driven by some kind of idea or does she just want to earn money? Let's dive into it. If you haven't noticed, lots of kinks are based on some kind of discrimination, are based on some kind of taboo, something forbidden, something you are not supposed to do. Because whenever I speak about race play, yeah, and I speak about it only because that's pretty much the only kink Maybe I'm wrong, yeah, but from what I've seen, that's pretty much the only kink you are not supposed to even discuss. Because if you ask like any question about it, you will be canceled immediately. I mean, if they notice your tweet, yeah, and I, I did that, I ask a question and I got an angry crowd like attacking, harassing, insulting me. For example, right now I have the knowledge, I know, that if I start talking about these things, I expect the reaction, I expect hate. But when I ask it for the first time, I do not expect that. Because again, I come from a different culture, I'm not American. And I will keep repeating this because it seems like only Americans and those who are affected by this country, yeah, who, well, develop the same mindset under the influence of the US, yeah, and are just people from there mm. so only like this side is usually mad other people somehow 
I don't know, they understand that kink is a kink. You can't really control it. It's a part of your sexual development. It, it is somewhere in your psyche. If some fetish provider advertises race play for people of color, it's often not because that she's racist or she is even into this type of play. It's because she is going to earn money because she will have clients. And let's talk about the other side, yeah? About black men, about Asian men, about brown men, yeah? Any kind of non-white men, but especially black men, because somehow this topic mostly concerns black people, yeah? Okay, and I understand why, yeah? That's the history, and they were affected by it, and that's a generational trauma. And I know that black people were going through horrible things a couple of centuries ago. However, I think that this whole theme is fueled by the government, is supported, because you guys follow the path of division. And I honestly don't think that hating on white people is the way to solve racism. And again, I'm not saying that racism does not exist, but also I don't believe that there is no reverse racism. However, when we discuss this topic of racism, it's even hilarious to think that it's somehow related to kink, okay? Because when I speak about sissification, for example, yeah, how it harms women, again, not when it's done in private, yeah, not when just people express their kink, but when men take this as their identity, and they fight for it, and women support it. Yeah, there's sexual, like special sex rights of men. Usually people from kink community tell me that, no, you just don't understand, okay? That's just a kink. A heart or your genitals want what they want. Yeah, you can't control it. But when it comes to race play, I was educated that um, if a black man is into race play, he is supposed to seek it from doms of color, including black doms. I'm like, what? Because, yeah, we also come in different colors. Are you, like, literally telling a grown man what to do and what kink to engage in and who to connect with? This is very strange. I think this is pretty patronizing and you are being racist towards your own people. Okay, maybe not racist. Yeah, again, I'm not an expert in racism. Let's not talk about racism. Well, that's impossible not to talk about racism, actually, because nowadays, kink is an instrument. And unfortunately, not just for personal exploration and expressing your sexuality, not just a tool to have fun. Nowadays, kink scene is deeply political, and I will keep repeating the same thing. Yeah, When you attach social issues, when you attach some political movements to kink, and this is the easiest, yeah? This is quite easy to affect people's minds through their sexuality. I find it ridiculous that just the mere fact that I'm speaking about it makes me racist in someone's eyes. Like, you're not supposed to talk about it. You are supposed to speak and think in one certain category. White people are bad. White people owe you something. Reparations, reparations. I already said it, but I will say it again. When everything is racism, nothing is racism. When you treat it, well, when you see every little thing as racism, eventually people will stop taking it seriously because they will get tired of you because you scream for nothing. That's just like that story about a boy who is screaming, wolf, wolf, and everyone got tired. And then when wolf came for real, he ate the boy. When I try to discuss this topic, yeah, usually that's impossible to discuss it because you receive just tons of hate and like next time you wouldn't want to ask this question. And I don't think that this is how it's supposed to be. I don't have any personal interest in race play despite of the opinions of like a few people online. I observe kinks. And if I found another kink for which you would be arrested by the kink police, 
I would speak about it. Yeah. And please, you can share in the comments down below if you know any. I would like to talk about it. Yeah. I would like to analyze it as well. Like, as stigmatized by kin community. Okay. Not by other people. That's, I mean, obvious. That's like we are not going to talk about other people and their views on this kink. Yeah. We talk about kink community and how it treats this kink. I saw that some people were talking like, what are the reasons for a black man to want this type of play? Because we understand when like black people want to humiliate white people, that's like some kind of revenge taking their power back. But if a black man wants to be like racially humiliated, what are the reasons? There are no reasons. Again, thank you so much. You solved the puzzle. You're the master of human psyche. Congratulations. When I was naive and when I thought that you can actually discuss things with people, I said that, uh, well, maybe race play can be healing. Imagine the amount of hate I received. But this is my general attitude to any kink. I don't enjoy in kink only for fun. I mean... If it's my kink, I enjoy it for fun, yeah? But if I work with subs, and if I... I actually prefer to talk about their kinks, yeah? Especially if they are not in the category of, like, my kinks. Like, goddess worship and fiendom, <laughs> pretty much, and uh, food fetish. Uh, there are some others, yeah? I have a separate video about it. But if it's not in the category of my kink, yeah? I get curious, and I ask them to talk about it. And if I ever did something with them... I wanted it to be somehow helpful. And I remember that when I just started, it was uh, like three years ago. Actually, it was three and something uh, when I had this online sub who eventually asked me to do a race play with him. And he asked me like, are you okay with that? And he wasn't black, he was brown. We talked about it first because I was curious why do you want it? And he told me that at school he was bullied. And I already have a video about uh, submissive men, yeah, and how they became subs. And bullying is a huge component in kink developing. And if bullying was based on some particular part, some particular detail about you, it's going to get stuck in your hand. And if we speak about some just regular humiliation, yeah, I don't know, small penis humiliation, your favorite body shaming, Somehow it's normal, right? But anyway, why men are into small penis humiliation? Because someone shamed them before, probably, or because they know that it's small. And this is their way to cope with this. So as a child, if you were bullied by someone else, yeah, by a group of people, like for example, at school, if you're a bullet for your skin color, that's going to get stuck in your head, especially if you develop some certain kinks, you will be craving humiliation. And if racial play is one of the components of this humiliation, what, you're going to get rid of it because it's wrong, because you're not supposed to do that? Or maybe as a Mexican person or as a black person, you're supposed to ask a dom of color to do this humiliation, something that never happened in your life? Yeah, okay, she can act, but is it going to be the same? Or maybe a white woman is going to perform it. And when they speak about this, like, what is the motivation of this white women? Yeah, like, what is, like, why do you want to ruin them so bad? And why do you want to ruin white men so bad? And if we go this way, yeah, if we speak about this, how good are you for his mental health? What are your intentions with this sub? Are you a healthy person yourself? Or maybe just because you call yourself a dom, it somehow gives you some kind of privileges? And I'm going to tell you a secret. Being called a dom does not make you a leader, does not make you smart, does not make you anyhow better. And being a sub does not make you weak by default okay so if you truly want to go this way let's check everyone's intention when they engage into kink and especially as a dominant because you become responsible for the other person so yes race play can be healing for a sub 
if both people, if both parties are self-aware and know and understand what they do and respect each other's boundaries. It actually was funny, yeah, when we did that, since I'm not from that environment, I had to ask him to give me slurs because I don't know them. With my range of slurs, <laughs> it would be extremely boring, like two words. This attempts to cancel race play that comes from white people, yet yeah, given to people of color, are, I think they stem from misunderstanding of kink and dom sub dynamics. Because if you see, well, that submission is about like harming yourself, taking advantage, and you don't understand that it's a play. If you do it for real, if you truly want to harm this person, and this is what I honestly see like in uh, Findom Twitter that targets white subs specifically, I don't think that the majority of these women care for them, to be honest. So these views come from perceiving a sub as truly inferior, not even as a play, but like for real. And also, this type of play is perceived as also something for real, not as a play. These doms of color don't understand that they give pleasure to this man. And I'm not saying something extremely smart here. It's not hard to understand. When you are a fetish provider, that includes Findom as well, or any kind of humiliation, you give pleasure to this man. That's a type of sex work. You give them pleasure. So why do you deny pleasure your own man? Because maybe you don't see it that way. You truly think that this is your place to take your power back. And I don't mind, okay? Like, I don't mind taking your power back, yeah? When you feel empowered, when you do what you want. But I think that this is, for me, uh, that was the beginning stage, yeah? When it was like, I'm gonna take revenge. But it has to pass and pretty quickly, yeah? Because this is not the stage you're supposed to stay in if you want to be an actual dom. Why do you patronize your own man? Why are they in my DM telling me, thank you, thank you so much for speaking up? Why all of them have, not all of them, okay, but lots of them have private accounts? Because they're going to be shamed for expressing their kink. Since when speaking about something, yeah, means that you're into that thing? If I was into race play, I would mention that. I mean, by this time, it should be pretty clear that I would mention that. I would say I'm into race play. If you want my personal views on race play, yeah, how I feel about it, I'm neutral about that. When I did that, I did that twice, once with a brown man, yeah, I told you about it, and once with a black man, both online. To me, I'm into femdom. I'm into man's submission to me. I don't care about his race. But you do. <laughs> like, obviously, you care too much. And I sometimes wonder, like, if I post a picture without thinking, oh, what's, what is the skin color of this man who is on his knees before me if he's not white? How is it going to affect me? Am I going to be canceled? Those who scream about racism nonstop are the ones who are so concentrated on people's skin color. You know, whenever I say anything about race play, or even just ask a question, I read so many insults about my appearance, yeah, but, but they can't really touch me. I know that I'm beautiful. I'm proud of everything I am, including my appearance and my nationality, and yes, my skin color. I'm proud of everything I have. I love my body and I love my skin color. When I look at other people, I also like their skin color. I've never had such feeling that, oh my God, this skin color doesn't look good. So anyway, I, I wasn't going to make this video about me. However, well, all my videos about me, kind of, and my opinions and my views and yeah. Anyway, when I read tweets 
about my face when they try to measure the length of my forehand. It reminds me of one person in history who was obsessed with the size of people's heads. Anyway, let's sum it up. Why are subs into race play? If we take white subs, it turns them on. The stuff was like reparations and everything. It is a kink. It turns them on. As a submissive, you want to serve a woman. And women of color are beautiful. And as a, sub as a submissive man, you want to serve a woman who you find beautiful. But the same for black subs. It's not because a white woman takes advantage or shows power as if she never had it in history. Not everything is tied to history, but if we, okay, if we tie it to history and if we see white people as oppressors, it can be a huge turn on for this man. Again, I don't believe that this kink is supposed to be so demonized. If kink community makes it a taboo, makes everyone be like a zombie, you know? They, they, they are like robots. They, they repeat the same stuff, like white doms. If you engage in race play, you just say you're racist. And they're like, wow, so stunning and brave. Let me applaud. Like, you are such a protector of black people. They will be so grateful. Thank you. You saved all of them. You just removed racism from the planet. When it comes to kink, there is no just. There is nothing simple. Well, it can be simple. Sometimes you are into things, well, into sensation, you know, like we're into some kind of smell. Some of that is easy. And if we speak about race play in particular, there is nothing just. No, you're not a racist if you engage in race play. It doesn't have to be overanalyzed. Like, what does it mean? It means that some strong image gets stuck in your hand and dropped into the basis of your sexuality and now you crave it. This is what it means. Anyway, I think, I think that's it for today. Share in the comments what you think about racial humiliation. Do you think that it's horrible and these people who engage in it, obviously, whites should be arrested? And I will see you in my next video. Bye-bye.